The Salvation Army Donuts of Hope campaign celebrates the connection between the donut and the support Salvation Army Donut Lassies offered to soldiers on the front lines of battle during both world wars. The campaign also raises awareness and support for Salvation Army programs here in Central Virginia serving veterans who today find themselves fighting for food, shelter, and employment. We hope you'll allow us to share another story in this series of Donuts of Hope. I went into a branch of military in the United States Marine Corps, signed up in 1978, went to boot camp at Paris Island, and that was a 13 weeks boot camp training. That was one of the worstest, roughest, toughest stuff I had. But it gave me growth to learn that when I went in there, there was no such thing as a black marine, red marine, blue marine. We was all one color. It was teaching us, we ever be in a trench with someone, we're supposed to have his back, regardless of what's going on. And if one man falls, we're supposed to be able to pick him up, encourage one another. I learned through the years that being in the service, it's not about what you do there, it's about what you do from your heart. I advanced my way up to a platoon sergeant. My downfall was that I had a girlfriend back home. I loved her very much. I asked her to marry me. And the whole time I was gone, like two and a half years overseas, it's like my family told me she was seeing it with somebody else and that. And it kind of broke me down. And I went back to my state of... Uh, don't give, I don't care. I started drinking, and at the time when you drink, you don't have nobody to talk to. So I had this tough shield up, put this up the whole time, the whole time I was in the hurting, but I did my job until I came home, and that's when I started getting into trouble with drugs and stuff because I, I didn't deal with that emotion when I was in the service. After I got out of the service and stuff, I went to prison because I, I my dad was spiral, I was writing bad checks because I was getting, still getting high. You know, draw myself like I was in the military, like I didn't care about nothing. I had a lot of good jobs. I lost them. I got so overwhelmed. I didn't pick up and use. I felt like it, but I got so overwhelmed that I ain't nobody I can talk to, nobody I can trust. Over time, Rodney made attempts at sobriety, but he said pride crept back in, along with guilt and shame from incarceration and substance abuse that just became too much, and he wound up homeless. But through that, he came to the Salvation Army and has been able to build himself back up. Salvation Army offer a great variety of help people. And what I mean by that is for veterans, when I was in the military, Salvation Army, we had a Salvation Army post, which was called SOS in uh, Camp Lejeune, and um, Salvation Army was there then to help people there. Even though we didn't go to the Salvation Army, Salvation was there on the post, it's coming to us during Christmas time, bringing us a basket of foods, and no encouraging words means a lot when you have family members. We cross seas, you don't have seen them, you haven't talked to them. And just for a call from a stranger to sit there and tell you I love you, support and stuff like that, it means a lot. When I see people that's hurting, or uh, not even hurting, if I see a lady come to the door, I'm gonna open the door for her or say good morning to her. My main goal in life now is to help people. More so to help myself because I, I get my blessing through helping other people. I've seen the joy of people's faces when you help people take something to the car when people don't have nothing, when people don't have a shirt on their back, or, or they out there homeless. And if I had a 2000 park, I bought a shirt for a guy, and then see a grown man cry because I gave him a shirt, that touched me. And I know that was God in my life then. And when they come to the door, it's like, this is a breath of change of fresh air to them. To get a nice meal, to sit down in a nice clean environment. And that's what I've been doing since I've been here. I try to do everything I can to change myself, but I can't change the world, but I can change myself. If I can change a small portion of it, I know it's helped me since I've been here. I see a lot of people change. And that's what it's about. And the growth I had learned from Salvation Army, I'm gonna tell you it was a pleasant experience because when they see you trying to help yourself, people help you. They want success. And that's the biggest thing here. They want to succeed success. And they're doing everything they can to help us. 